five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hit it! Hello, everybody. This is the Ramble from the most infected city in the United States. And we go until midnight Eastern time. Hello, everybody. How are you? Here we go. Another show, another opening, another show. I think I'll talk to you for the next uh, 15 minutes or something like that. Yeah. If you don't mind. Uh, hmm. I'm having some of my my um, 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 uh, Jamaican me crazy coffee. I love this stuff. I just love it. It's tasty. It's got uh, spices in it and coconut. So much better than just that normal crap that they and swill they serve at Starbucks. I mean, is Starbucks open these days? Yeah, they're open. But you can't sit there. Okay. You know what happened to me tonight? Well, uh, uh, before I tell you what happened to me today, uh, let me go over uh, to the, uh, the, the uh, map, okay, or the screen here so that we can show you uh, how we're doing in the world tonight. Da, 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 bump. There we go. Uh, we just passed uh, 1.6 million people on the face of the planet that have the coronavirus of which we only have uh, 354,464 that have recovered. Okay? I can always, I, I, I can do this. I have a little thing where I can, I can push a button here, you see, and then you see the, see the no number there? See? See? I can do that. Isn't that great? Isn't that wonderful? Oh, let me see. Now, how do I get back to where I was? Uh, let me see here. Oh, there, here we go. That's where it is. Okay. All right. Um, so that's what we have. All right. Now let's go to the U.S. And here's what we've got for the U.S. Uh, here's the sum total of uh, all the people in the country who have the coronavirus. It's 400. Oh, hold on a second. I'm trying to. Well, it won't go. Oh, there we go. 465,329 total confirmed okay total confirmed that is the the current co uh, confirmed amount of people who have it and then we go over and we take a look at the, like new york city over here uh and i don't think i can bring that up actually i can't uh, i can't make it but we have in new york city 5150 deaths uh, now i don't know what that was earlier today but that doesn't look like it's jumped much, but we'll see. Uh, today, our mayor said to us that he uh, that we had the most people die of any day, and we had over 700 or something like that that died in New York State, not just New York City, okay? But when you look at the top places in the United States, you got New York City at number one. Number two, you've got New York, Nassau, that's Long Island, with 633 deaths. Then you got Michigan, Wayne, Michigan, with 504. Then back to New York again with Suffolk. And back to New York again with West, uh, Westchester. They had 359. And uh, I think I we've run out of New York there. Okay, that's fine. But uh, total that have recovered in the United States, not a hell of a lot. Look at that number. That's uh, not a good number. Spain, man, they are hurting. They've got 15,447 total deaths. Less than us, but also less people that have come down with it. Okay, only 153,000. So really on a, per, on a cost per thousand, as they call it in the radio business, uh, we're doing a lot better than uh, Spain. Uh, Italy... Uh, 18,279 out of only 143,000 uh, people uh, who had the coronavirus. So that the per uh, 1,000 deaths with them is maybe higher than anywhere else in the world. Uh, then we got France. 
uh, let's see here. I see London. I see France. I see, uh, anyway, uh, France, uh, 12,000. Germany, 2,000. China, 3,339 uh, total deaths, but they got less people that actually have it. Germany has a lot more. But you see, we don't know what, what, if, whether China's telling us the truth or not, but let's assume they are. Iran, doing not very well. Look how many, out of 66,220 people, they've got uh, 4,110 deaths. So per thousand, they may be the, the hottest hot spot in the world. But this is pretty much it. You know, we got the United Kingdom, uh, where they have one less coronavirus uh, person today because their prime minister is on the mend. Um, a, a, they've had a total amount of 7,993 7, total deaths. Again, the U.S. today, we have 16,000 souls that will no longer be with us. And I, I, it grieves me. I'll tell you, it really does grieve me because... This is something that we, we saw coming, okay? Um, and how do we see it coming? Um, I saw a clip today of Barack Obama speaking, I think, to the public in general uh, about a possible pandemic that could happen. He said it could happen next year, it could happen 10 years from now, but we have to be prepared for it. And he created a pandemic task force to look at ways in which we could handle things if the, this kind of thing happened. Not only the disease itself, but the economic problems that would incur if that happened. And he had a corona. He had a he had a virus task force that he initiated. I believe the date on the uh, the timestamp on the video was. Um, uh, December 2014, okay? And when um, uh, Trump came into office, he was told by, you know, always when a new president comes into office, they talk to the previous administration at great length about various things of concern, part of which is like, you know, watch out for ISIS or watch out for this or watch out for that. And one of the things was watch out for a possible pandemic Here's what we found out so far in working through it, and here's all the information you have and everything. And what was the next thing that uh, uh, this fine new president of ours, Donald Trump, who can't do anything wrong, I mean, he's perfect, uh, did was he disbanded the task force. Now, this was a task force that was visionary on the part of Barack Obama. I don't care what you think about Barack Obama. You have to admit that's pretty visionary to say, hey, you know, there's the possibility that a pandemic could take place and then we're not prepared for it. So let's start a task force and let's get prepared for it. Well, he hadn't been in office long enough to be able to really get it uh, rolling to any, any great extent. And so consequently, uh, the new president comes in, disbands the pandemic uh, task force. Ah, we don't need that. That's never going to happen. That's not going to happen. No. That's not what he's going to tell you now. He always knew there was going to be a pandemic. He was ready for it. He, was, he stopped the Chinese from coming in here. Uh, let's see, he stopped the Chinese, I think, in December, maybe early January. And I think the first thing with Hunan in, uh, in China was October. Somewhere around there. Well, I'm, uh, who am I to complain? Uh, we have a wonderful president who's doing everything he t can to keep us safe. So say uh, the... Uh, how many people do we have uh, that are dead now in the United States? Uh, by the 16,000, um, <laughs> the 16,000, um, uh, let me show it to you again, 16,672 uh, dead people uh, who have uh, Donald Trump to thank for making sure they didn't die. They probably just died of something else. Who knows? Um, but uh, and now, now he, he's talking about relaxing the uh, shutdown. Uh, he wants to s relax it by a April 31st. You see, all he sees in his little pea brain is the economic problems 
mainly because he's all money and all he cares about is the money side of it. He doesn't care really, I think, about the human toll. Uh, I don't think that's something he, he takes into great consideration. Uh, but he, uh, uh, you know, he, he's, uh, he wants it to get back by April 31st. Well, tonight, Marjorie and I were sitting around. She's, how much longer do you think it's going to be before we can... We, it, you know, we're not going to get back to normal anytime this year. Forget it. We're not getting back to normal. It's not going to be, okay, let's go to the movie theater again. I don't think people are going to go to movie theaters again anymore anyway because they see what the danger is of sitting next to somebody else, all right? Uh, but, uh, you, you know, getting back to that normalcy that we had where you, you're not afraid to go down to the grocery store. You're not afraid to go to the pharmacy, uh, it's not going to kill you to go get a haircut. Hey, look at this. Look at that. And, 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 and you're getting terrible. Um, you know, to get a haircut. Uh, those things are not going to come back to normalcy anytime soon. And uh, I, I think it will, it will be at least a year before we get back to any kind of real normalcy. Now, how, when are we going to be able to go out without... Without face masks, probably I would say not any time in the near future. When are we going to be able to go outside with face masks? I would say uh, I told her I felt two months was an outside bet, but certainly April 31st isn't. It, that's just dreaming, and it's dangerous of the president to even suggest it, okay, or to get people's hopes up. He's trying to push people back into the workforce uh, so that the government won't be hemorrhaging money. You see, here's what happened. Uh, back, in the, um, uh, pr uh, back in the days of the Depression, the Great Depression, where more people were out of work than are out of work right now, or at least in percentage-wise, uh, uh, the American people were kind of disgusted with capitalism. Uh, the reason they were sick of it and, and kind of didn't like it too much is because, well, capitalism wasn't working. They were all starving to death. None of them had jobs, you know. And um, uh, there was a great danger that, cap that capitalism was going to be on the ropes. And there was this thing looming called in, in, in Russia called communism. And there were other people who were talking about socialism as a possible cure for this scourge that had been caused by greedy capitalism. And so when FDR came into office, he, you know, he started all these programs, all these very socialistic programs, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, uh, National theater and national agriculture stuff, and pr programs to build roads and things like that, to put money back in the pockets of the American public and have them stray away from the desire for a non capitalistic system. Well, what we're up against now is you're going to see that, you know, Bernie Sanders talked a lot about socialism and everybody laughed at him. But now, when they look at what's happened and how capitalism is so fragile that an event like this can completely decimate the economy of a country, uh, they're going to start looking elsewhere for other answers. And they're going to say, well, you know, capitalism is not bad to an extent, but to the extreme that we've had it, we, the, the, we've got nothing but problems now. Uh, and we don't want those problems, and we don't like those problems, and we got to stop those problems. And uh, to hell with it! Uh, we don't want uh, we don't want um, um, uh, uh, capitalism anymore. Let's find something else. So what I think he's worried about is this will bring about a socialist upsurge. Uh, not communism. I don't think Americans ever would have wanted communism if they were smart, because it's 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 a, it's an impractical system. Forget about whether it's good or bad. It's just impractical. Okay, on a on a on a national basis, communism works on communes. You know, little village somewhere. Everybody has one storehouse. They put all the food in this one storehouse, and then they all share from that storehouse. Uh, and there, that's when communism works. 
but it doesn't work on a national level. And I think the, Chi the Chinese, uh, um, to this day, hold on to that ethic, and it's, it's one which is going to be their undoing eventually. Um, so far as uh, Russia is concerned, there's no communism there anymore. They, there are only two, what, three communist nations in the whole world. But anyway, the point I'm making is, is that FDR put all these programs into play to kind of get people away from the notion that communism was maybe a good idea or something we should be looking at, because certainly the capitalistic system, at least at that time during the Great Depression, had failed us immensely. So here now you have a situation in which the government has to turn around and prove to people that, oh, it wasn't, you know, it didn't come falling down like a house of cards because of capitalism and whatever. And we, you don't want, ca you don't want cap, you don't want socialism. That's bad. Okay. Uh, so what do they do to try and solve this problem? They institute a bunch of socialistic programs. <laughs> I mean, what is this money giveaway? But nothing but blatant socialism. Um, you know, and I, and I think it, it, they're being rather clumsy in the way they're handling it, and uh, I think a lot of small businesses are going to suffer as a result of it. And uh, Donald Trump, what they're, you know, they're fighting about this second bill that would help small businesses, and you know what they're arguing about? Trump wants to have the last word on where the money goes. And they say, no. We want to be able to specify where the money goes, and we want to make sure it only goes to small business, that it doesn't go to lining the pockets of your pals, okay? Um, so that's what they're arguing about now. Meanwhile, the small businesses are floundering, and the really small businesses are probably going to fail anyway, um, unfortunately. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, 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 so we've got a real mess in this country, and... Uh, uh, the only way we're going to solve it is to first we got to get everybody well. Okay, we've got to we've got to somehow come up with a, a bunch of things. Number one, we got to come up with a uh, with a, uh, um, um, a vaccine, and I think they can do that. They can do that fairly rapidly. I'm not talking about next week. I'm not talking about next month. But by the end of the year, we probably may have a vaccine, and there may be a second wave of this virus and it will attend to that second wave. The other thing is, of course, if there are any possible cures out there uh, that don't necessarily have to do with a company that Trump has invested in uh, and isn't uh, the idea of, uh, of a good idea by Laura Ingram, uh, it, 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 those things will, be, uh, will, will kind of help us along. Uh, but what we've got to do is we've got to get the nation well again. And that is not going to be done in the next, well, what is it, uh, 20 days from now? Come on. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Okay. Anyway, oh, so what happened to me today? So this was, uh, uh, so, so we're, we're here, and Marjorie every now and then says, I'll go down to the grocery store and get some groceries. And then she goes down at like 7 o'clock in the morning, and uh, she's like the first one there, and uh, she's wearing her mask, and she's got her gloves, and, you know, I wish we had a hazmat suit. I'd have her wear that too. Uh, and she's going instead of me because I, I don't know. I haven't been able to ask a doctor. Maybe there's a doctor out there right now who can tell me that since I had this radiation these seeds in my prostate, I have a, uh, um, uh, a possibility uh, that, um, um, uh, that I'm more compromised, say, because, you know, uh, 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 I could be more compromised to this kind of thing just because I have the radiation thing going on. One set subsides. But anyway, I don't like her going to the grocery store, but she does occasionally. Well, I told, I told her the last couple of days, I said, you're not going. That's it. You know, you're just not going. Uh, I, I don't want to think that you died because I was hungry, okay, or that you were hungry, or that you had to get yourself your juice oranges, you know. Uh, we somehow can, like, thaw out everything that we've been freezing for years in that refrigerator. There's some ravioli in there, and there are a few other things. We can, somehow we can get by. 
But, uh, and the other thing we can do is we can order out. So tonight I said, look, I'll pay for it. Let's order out to Popeye's, right? Uh, because you can order to Popeye's and they deliver. So I go online, I got my app, and I put in the app, I want the eight pieces and I, you know, with the biscuits, and then we want the red beans and rice. And uh, how much is that going to come to with the tip uh, and tax of, oh, look, $40. Okay, well, I then go, okay, put it on my uh, Apple Pay. Boom, I hit the thing. And the next thing I know, uh, I get a call, and it's from the delivery guy, and he's from a private delivery company that goes to Popeye's, picks up the stuff, and then takes it out. And uh, he said he went to the store, and it's closed. It, it wasn't open. And I went, what? He says, it's not open. I said, I just, I just paid with my, with my Apple Pay. And how do I get that back? He says, I don't know. I don't have anything to do with that. Goodbye. Okay. So then I go on to uh, Amex, and I, because that's who the card was put on, and I asked them, and they said, well, you know, if they, they probably, if they, if they don't charge you, if it's, it says pending right now, and if they don't charge you, uh, you'll be okay. And then I went back on my computer, and Popeyes had sent me a note and said, well, uh, you know, we couldn't deliver it, so you, you know, we're, taking, we're reversing your credit card charge. And I went, okay, good, that's terrific. That's not a problem. But the thing I'm thinking is, why in the hell didn't they put in there, you can't get it from that store because that store isn't open at this hour or whatever. And normally, the last time I ordered it, it was, you know, dinner time, and uh, they delivered it, and it was fine. But somehow the store is closed. Now, I don't know if all the Popeyes aren't just closing because uh, people are refusing to come to work. And quite frankly, I don't blame them because, again, you know, is that minimal paycheck they get from, from uh, Popeye's, which has got to be $3.50 an hour or something, is it worth dying for? So, you know, a lot of people who are in uh, grocery stores and places like that are just saying, hell, I, I don't care. Fire me. I'm not coming in. I'm not going to die. If I, if I were working at, at my supermarket down the street, I would not go to work, okay? It's just it's not worth the risk. Plus... You know, they just aren't doing a lot to help them. Some of these places aren't even giving them uh, face masks. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, I think it's time that we probably say to hell with it. And, uh, oh, you guys liked hearing me, huh? Oh, and they went up. Uh, the, the people watching went up. And now they're going down that they know I'm going to the citizen panel because I think there are certain people they don't like to hear. Uh, but that's okay. They get replaced by other people, okay? Uh, but do stick with us because we do have uh, we do have a thing here called the Citizen Panel. And as soon as I can get Skype going, there we go. There's Skype. Boy, is it slow tonight. Okay, are we all right? Okay, we're okay. All right, let me uh, turn this thing on so you can all see that it's lit green. There we go, active. Okay, there we go, and uh, now I just wait for people to call, and then I uh, I, I put their little faces in the uh, in the uh, in, in the uh, uh, picture, and uh, we all talk to each other, and that goes on for about another hour, and then uh, I go uh, I, I say goodbye, and I post the show, so then I go in the other room, and watch some TV. Anyway, Charlie Wallace is calling us. Charlie, you there? Here, here he is. Uh, uh, I'm waiting to see his picture before I try to put him up there. Uh, are you there, Charlie? Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Rob Alfano is calling. Hello, Rob. You, uh, you there, I... Rob? Rob? Yes. Okay, you? you're there. You're there. Charlie, are you there? There's Charlie. Oh, okay, there. now I can put you somewhere here. Hold on a second. Let me put Charlie Wallace in the number two spot. Okay, Charles Wallace. There we go. And boom. And then I can do this. And we're off to the races. There we go. Here comes Josh Wheeler. He was here last night. Uh, eloquent last he, night. He, very eloquent last night. Uh, Horton hears an eloquent or something. What is it? Let me see here. Where are we? Go to number three again. I wait for his picture to come on and then I can add him 
uh, to the um, uh, uh, Josh. Uh, is your camera on? Oh, there we go. There he is. Yep. And he's in the place. He's you're in the same place you were were last night. So, thank you for uh, for being there tonight. Let's see here. Let's go over to our uh, fourth spot. Goes to. Uh, let me add. Uh, let me do this. Okay, cancel. Then I will go. Uh, uh, I will go here and scuba diver. There's Phil, and uh, there we go. There we go. There are four people already. And, oh, here comes here comes Jeff Z Zeller, uh, who I had trouble with last night because I had two Jeffs here last night. And uh, when that happens, I should name one Jeff somebody and. Uh, I would I'll always name you Jeff Z. That's the, it's the way to do it, right? Oh, then Je Jeff's there, too. Yeah, he's right in the spot he was in last night. Um, hello, everybody. How are you this evening? Good yeah, are we all healthy? <laughs> so far. So far. Mentally? It's, it's, like, it's like a guy, who, the old story about the guys falling out of the building. And uh, as he uh, reaches the 13th floor, somebody looks out the window and says, how's it going? He says, so far, so good. You know, so uh, that's the way I feel about this thing. You know, so far, so good. You know, as I'm plunging to the, to the uh, pavement. Um, it ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. No, it ain't going to be over as fast as um, some people would like it to be. Uh, what, what, let me get a prediction. Uh, Rob? How long do you think this is going to last before we can go out and have not complete normalcy, but some modicum of normalcy, like being able to go to a restaurant and uh, things like oh. that? Um, I would say you're not you're going to have to practice social distancing at least until late until sometime in the autumn, sometime. It's not going to be this summer. We may get out there again, but we're not going to be practicing. We're not going to be going to restaurants. They're going to have to re move tables around. Mm -hmm. If they do sports, they're going to have to figure out how to s separate fans if they let fans in at all. Yeah, We're not yeah. going to be close together until sometime next year when they come out with a vaccine or yeah. something. Otherwise, we're going to get it again. Right? We, but th my question is... Uh, do you think maybe we will continue to practice social distancing just in, in the general, for the general reason we that we have flus yeah. and things like that? <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's got to go back to, I think it's got to go, I mean, come on. Well, <laughs> human beings yeah. are social animals. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I may not be, but most of And I'm not either. So that's why I never come to see you and, and you like, never you know, come to see me. Larry, what? Larry, David, you know, it's like, you know, this kind of thing's working out. I get to stay home. I don't have to see anybody. I don't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> ain't, ain't half bad, is it? Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, um, um, uh, Josh, mm -hmm. your prediction, when do you think we're going to be back and having people doing things, you know? When we get back, I'm not saying normal because I think it's going to be a while before we be, we get to a, a, a point of normalcy. But um, uh, do you have any any prediction on how long it's going to be before we can somehow have a uh, hello, a Bree, by the way? We can have any kind of uh, any kind of normalcy at all. And I, you know, I, I really don't know. I don't think it's going to be very long, to be honest with you. You, you, you mean you think we'll be, you think we'll be back uh, doing stuff sooner rather than later? Yeah, because in most places that I have been or been around, mm -hmm. no one really slowed down much anyway. I mean, I think they did maybe where you live, mm -hmm. but in most other parts of the country, that stuff was all talk. Yeah, there's a stay-at-home order where I live. No one stayed at home. Everyone really went out. Yeah, well, but on, on the other hand, where you live, is there a density of population? I mean, like I go out on, if, on a normal day, if I went out on the street in New York City, and Rob knows this, and uh, 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 Tony certainly knows this, Jeff knows this, there's no way you can create a social distance from anybody because everybody's so close to each other. If you're just going down into the subway at rush hour, you know, you it, 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 whereas in places like where maybe where you live, 
not a, you can avoid people a little more. You can keep well, but that not social really. Distance. I mean, I, I work in Columbus, Ohio, which is the 15th most populated city in America. Mm -hmm. I work in a de I work in a department where truck drivers come in every single day, mm -hmm. 25 to 30 per day, and pass paperwork back and forth with guys in my department. Yeah. Hey, where'd you pick this load up at? Yeah. New York City. Would you feel this driver comes in? Where'd you pick this load up at? Yeah. San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, now my question to you though would be, uh, how safe would you feel going to a restaurant? at this at right now let's say okay uh, i mean i i would probably be okay you know you know if you take steps to take care of yourself mm -hmm. i mean i don't mind the things that were done my problem is i wish that we would have done more you know so that we could get over it you know more quickly mm -hmm. my problem is you can't go to a restaurant you can't go to the bookstore. You can't go buy clothing. You can't go do anything that's mm -hmm. recreational. I can't watch any baseball. I can't watch any football. I can't watch any golf. But by God, you better have your ass to work every morning at 530. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And make, sure you, put your, you make sure you put your 11 hours in every day. I mean, if we're not going to have any of the things that I work for in life, then I can just cash out take my airstream to the woods and live like the fucking unibomber i'm not gonna miss anything I mean, why am I <laughs> you know so i want my shit back like you know so they should have just you know really closed a lot more things down so that we could get over it quick yeah they're just gonna bleed us dry i yeah. mean yeah uh what, I mean, what do you work what am i working for i no. mean i don't work because i like what i do i work so i can fucking sit down in them fucking three thousand dollar seats and watch a fucking ball game yeah <laughs> I'm yeah shit about fucking truck drivers and paint coming and going you know i mean i, mean, I don't care about that yeah. but <laughs> you right. take all the other stuff away from you how long till people riot you know that's my whole thing that's all well that uh, i'm worried about that here in new york that i think yeah. that we're getting to the point now where i'm even feeling squirrely Okay, and and what what is the point at which people are going to start snapping? Now I'm I, I don't know about where you guys live, but where we live, Tony knows exactly what I'm saying. I'm Jeff, ready to put the pillow over my mother's head. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I'm uh, how about you? Uh, 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 for uh, reduction in rent. Dar uh, uh, Darth Pat, has there is there anybody that uh, that uh, you know? Is there any prediction you have as to when maybe we'll be able to get back? Mm -hmm. Not to no and normalcy is not what I'm talking about here, okay? Uh, but uh, some kind of uh, um, uh, just where we can start seeing ourselves going out, some people going back to work, things like that. Uh, well, I I thought. By the end of this month, mm -hmm. uh, my moronic governor this morning uh -huh. shut down the state parks throughout the state. Um, and I got news for his dumb ass. <laughs> um, you know, parks are open areas and you know, you're taking, like Josh was saying, you're taking away even the ability for people to go to the fucking park and walk around a lagoon or walk on a trail. I mean, you know, that's not taking your life in your hands as much as going in a grocery store is. Well, you know, I, you know and, you're, and I, think, I think you're absolutely right, Patrick. Um, the only exception I would make is our governor uh, has said, "Go out to Golden Gate, uh, Golden Gate Park. Go out to Central Park." I'm still living in San Francisco. Go out to Central Park, you know, have a, have a have a have a run, have a walk. Just don't play with each other. And he said he was closing down all the playgrounds because people were going there and playing basketball with each other. And he said, 
I, there were, you know, people were not being safe about it, going to the playground, keeping a safe distance and whatever. They were engaging in the things you do in a playground, and that one of them, which was playing basketball. And he said, that's perfectly unacceptable. Yeah, and I, I, and I mean, we have, we have had rules like that. Mm-hmm. But morning, this one, the, this one pissed me off. The other one... I've been okay with, yeah. but the state part, next will be the county parts. You know, the state parts that are one, at least in Wisconsin, you pay a yearly fee, or at least I do, so I can have access to any of the parks in the state. Mm-hmm. And, um, but these are like really outdoors, like they're woods and things like that, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, like the particular park I like to go to, they have a paved, um, it's about three quarters of a mile through the wood. That means my wheelchair ass can actually go back in the wood like I used to go take walks yeah. in the wood. Yeah, I think I would agree. I would agree with you on this one, Patrick. I mean, I, I think that, <laughs> uh, would anybody disagree with Patrick on that? I don't I, what, see. What, what are they going to do, arrest them? They can, they yeah, they, they can, can. They can. They can they take can. away his wheels, you know. Uh, they have, they've, we have tattletales in the Milwaukee area, at least, that have called the police on people eating food that they got from a drive-through in the parking lot of the restaurant. <laughs> They're in their own vehicle, and people have called the police. And the police have responded. That's how little they have to do. Well, so, ours ours are very busy here. And the only thing that the, the governor did yesterday was raise the fine for ignoring social distancing from $200 to $1,000. And I don't disagree with that one. You know, you know the, it is. People are not, like you said, like, they're not listening. That's why he's going to, re- they just not getting it. Well, it, like, you know, I can see, it. as I say, you know, we're out where um, uh, uh, Rob lives. Uh, social distancing, hey, he's socially distant from his next door neighbors anyway. Yeah, but they're all over each other back here. It's, really? it's ridiculous. Oh, really? I mean, but, you know, I, in some ways, that's a little bit. Like, I don't live in Columbus. I work in Columbus. But I live, you know, 25-minute drive away in a very, very small mm-hmm. rural community, farm yeah. community. It's yeah. actually classified as a village. Mm-hmm. Not that many people live here. But in some ways, I read that there actually have been very worried about those small towns having more serious outbreaks with mm-hmm. small localized medical services that can't handle it because right. you know for for instance we i read that story in the new york times about a week ago about a very tiny community about the size of this one in rural georgia where mm-hmm. the whole town became sick because uh, a well-known person in the very small town died and everyone went to the funeral mm-hmm. and the viewing at the yeah. funeral home and a week later they could trace all the people in this little tiny village back and they had either attended the viewing or, you know, like lived with someone who attended the viewing, you know, yeah. this contact tracing went back. So, you know, I mean, I do live in a really, really tiny community, mm-hmm. but, you know, but I got to go to the big city to work. And, and, you know, that's what I'm saying is I travel there and maybe I could pick it up and then you bring it back to a small area like this. So, I mean, that's just that's what was rough about the whole thing. I mean, mm-hmm. all the national yeah. parks are closed. You know, I can't go to Grand Teton, for example. Mm-hmm. God forbid you drive around in your car and look at the fucking mountains, but like I said, make sure you show up for your 55 hours of work this week because, you know, caskets need paint, so. <laughs> yeah. uh, Phil, uh, when do you think we're, we're we, we, it, it, and it's not the question of when, when, when are things going to get back to normal because that's a long way uh-huh. off, but that we get back to a modicum of being able to oh, go to a restaurant or, uh, uh, I mean, I'm even saying maybe movie theaters open up again. I mean, how long do you think that's going to be? I think some parts of the country, you're looking at maybe May 1st. Other parts of the country, you might be looking at the end of the end of June. But uh, uh, I think by then, uh, uh, things will begin returning to normal. And, and once they get those Abbott tests out, the 5-minute, 13-minute one, uh, it's 5 minutes if you're 
positive, it's 13 minutes if you're negative. Uh, but once they get that out, the, um, a, a number of uh, employers are going to be able to uh, to run those tests because the Abbott thing is portable. And uh, so, are you, as you walk in in the morning, you get a test every day. Uh, no, uh, I think once you test and you practice. Uh, uh, but, but you don't know that the person that person yeah. is going to practice. Right. It. Yeah, you don't know, and you don't know who they're going to come. Maybe they do practice it, but it gets. Hey, there, there's no there's no happy face uh, to any of this. Uh, but the answer to the question is: some parts of the country may first. No, I, I, how many would agree with that? So. Anybody agree with that? You do, uh, Patrick. I don't know. How about you, Bree? Well, you know, I mean, I've read all of the. Um, reports that are out there mm -hmm. uh bill gates has come out with his predictions the atlantic uh some of the writers there have it uh the medical journal the lancet has come out with a study based on china and projections and it all depends on how many uh deaths you're willing to have you know or you, that you want that that you think can happen right um so the sooner you open, the more willing you are to have more deaths. Did you hear yeah. this answer? It was some parts of the country. Uh, some parts of the country really haven't been affected by that many cases. And, uh, you know, there are other parts of the country that, you know, are hubs, and they're going to have to stay closed. Yeah, but you also don't know, Phil, that they by the time them. we reach the, the end of April, as you make it, make mm -hmm. it or the 1st of May, that those smaller towns are going to be far more impacted. Like we're finding out now that towns that we didn't think were impacted have, uh, have uh, you know, um, uh, homes for the elderly that are coming down and becoming hot spots in, well, states, those, those... That, in states that had relatively few cases until then. And, and that's, that's a very astute observation that I've heard uh, all day today is that these uh, uh, care homes or assisted living homes are uh, are testing very very high, and so those are the those are the areas that you have to uh, continue to separate well, and keep people hunkered down. Maybe also if you're over 65, even if your area is uh, is doing well, you should still continue to maybe go through June, uh, and uh, as far as isolation goes. Uh, but, you know, it, it can be brought back in a, in a reasonable yeah, but, step But, 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 step but when, you're, when you're talking about this test, yes, it's wonderful if you give that test every day. Uh, Rob brought up the perfect case. I mean, you don't know somebody doesn't go home and then he had, because, hey, I got tested today. I don't have it. And he starts talking to somebody too close. And the next day he comes in, he's starting to spread it. The hey, other thing to consider, the other thing to consider is, you know, metropolitan areas like New York City. Are, are not designed for people to separate. How are people going to get to work if they can't yeah, be next to each other on a subway? Right. They're not going to go. Long Island Railroad or any, exactly. when you walk up the stairs, as soon as you land in Penn Station, you are but against people. You're not six feet away from anybody. You don't hear. Uh, you know, I don't hear. You, New York may need to hunker down a but lot. New York is where all of the commerce is. Oh, you can open up Iowa, but there's nothing going on in Iowa. As far as I can see, the commerce is in Cincinnati, and uh, and Josh is got okay. it. Okay, the, the let's you tell the federal government when it's time to pay taxes mm -hmm. to the federal government how much they're going to get from Ohio and how much they're going to get from New York's mm -hmm. New York. Hey, they're not going to get it. And then you got a governor that's in charge that isn't going to pull the plug so fast. You know, I'm dump, just saying the, it, it isn't going to be that easy to get back to places like New York where all of the commerce is. My qu know. my question also is, it, let, let's say we want to do that. How mm. do we do it? And and how do we do we phase it back in or do we say Monday everybody can go to work? I think it needs to be phased and it needs to be phased by risk groups. So uh, the, the oh, by risk groups, risk. what's a risk group? Uh, 65 and over, people with, uh, uh, you know, I issues like diabetes and uh, obesity and things like that. Oh, so you, you have two ways that you don't go to work, huh? <laughs> I go to my office, uh, you know, I'll let my minions mm -hmm. talk to the customers. Yeah, I, I just think that it's not going to be as easy as, yes, there are parts of the country where it is not as impacted now, but could be. 
you know, New York is is the is the is the canary in the coal mine, and and uh, all we have to do is let, let let get a little looser here, and people go travel to some small city somewhere, and they, they become the high typhoid Mary. Yes, Patrick. Go see their cousins. Well, yeah. that that was one thing I was going to say. You know, I I agree with Phil that you do it according to risk group, but then again. <sighs> run into what you just mentioned, Alex, which is if you've got somebody from an area that was high risk, whether it be New York or uh, what is it, Seattle mm -hmm. is the other, or uh, in Oregon, um, you know, then you have them traveling to other parts of the country um, and maybe they're asymptomatic. What makes me feel the, the most comfortable where you would be able to say, in one day, okay, everybody go back. And if there was an effective treatment or two for somebody who started to show signs of it, you'd go to your uh, your doctor, you get you know a, a shot or whatever. And I'm not saying a vaccine. I know that's a ways off. But treatment, uh, similar to what you do for a cold or you know where you start just kind of. Well knocking it down a bit here uh, you know it, it, there it, it, there's all, there are certain considerations that have to be taken into account i would say that the only people that i would let go back to work tomorrow okay would be those people who have had it and no mm -hmm. longer have it and yeah, test yeah. and test negative for it but they've had it because then they've got antibodies in them and they could probably you know let them man the grocery stores you know but uh, we don't know who those are yet. We don't have the antibody test, okay? Well, I, have, I have a friend who just got over three weeks of having a temperature, uh, mm. feeling terrible. His doctor said, I think maybe you have the coronavirus, stay home, stay away from your, your wife, and blah, 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 blah. But he doesn't know whether he had it or not. Oh, he didn't take because he didn't have, he didn't, let me finish, let me finish, Phil. He, he didn't have any of the, he didn't have the, uh, the symptoms of like uh, uh, conge congestion in the chest. So he thinks, maybe I didn't have it. Maybe I just had a common flu or a common cold or it was something else. But I don't know. So he doesn't know. Unless we have tests, we, he's never, uh, an antibody test, he's never going to know whether he had it or not. You mm -hmm. know, and he can't assume now that he didn't have it, that he did have it. Now he's free to go outside and hang out with other, well, hang out with nobody because there's nobody out there. But <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, listen, li yeah. listen to this, Alex. I just talked to my cousin today. She's she has it. She tested positive. Joy, she's doing better. No fever for three days now. She thinks she caught it from her son Lewis coming back from college. Now get this. She just called me about an hour ago. Mm -hmm. Lewis, the young kid. He got up this morning and he was complaining. I heard that he his leg was tight, like he had a muscle cramp. She she told me on the phone that his leg was turned in color. I thought, Joy says you better call the doctor because that can be a blood clot. Yeah, that can be something like phlebitis. So anyway, get this now. Now the doctor, it was a blood clot. They have to they're pulling him into the hospital to check his body. He had COVID. I wonder if this is an after effect that she's going to have to get tested too now, a whole body. Because I wonder after you come off of it, can your body clot up? I don't think so. Uh, you know, there's been no, no, I haven't read anything about that. I mean, she's feeling okay. He's okay now, but he's got to get a, they're giving him blood thinness, but he's going to get a full test to see if there's any clots anywhere else. Yeah. But he's been okay I mean, he, now. He could have, that could be another problem altogether. You know. Yeah. I wonder if that's an after effect of the disease. That well, they don't know I, I haven't heard about that. I just heard it. She just called me. Now. I was just thinking to myself, like, oh, shit. Anything's possible, you know? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't have an idea. Uh, Jeff, when do you think we're going to get back to work here? I, th I think it's going to take three, four months at least. Easy, yeah. Yeah. And, and the biggest problem is, I mean, we're all talking about it. There's a bunch of people that don't even give a shit. Right. Yeah, that's they amazing. They don't believe yeah. it. Is that yeah. ignorant, you think, Jeff? Or she's like, they don't care. They it's don't like they don't do wear the mask. They come around. It's like, it's like they're oblivious to everything. Yeah. I, I I heard uh, somebody that we know, and the girl uh, was all pissed off because she was supposed to graduate from college mm -hmm. this week or whatever. Yeah. Well, the kid said, you know, we're we still living there, right by 
we were. We're not going back home. But we'd still like to have a big party. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, it's a, what I said last night. One of the families night. come to visit us. Yeah. It's what I said last night. We, we suffered 9-11 where 2,700 people died. Yes. And everybody yes. stopped and everybody realized the, the magnitude of it. We've lost how many people now? About ten thousand. Just this country. Uh, well, I'm. I, 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 and nobody I, I, cares. You, everybody wants to have a party. Everybody, I'm telling you, around here, I'll, it's just like here, I'll, uh, it's summer I'll, vacation. I'll, I'll, everybody, because the weather's been beautiful. The kids this. are running around and playing. The parents are standing out back and they're drinking. And yeah. I, I, I'm afraid uh, to go. Uh, we have we have forty well, four hundred sixty five thousand, almost four hundred and sixty six thousand people. And New York City has had uh, five thousand. What, 510 deaths so far. You know. I mean, I, I know what Rob is saying because I see it too. But I, I think what exacerbates that situation, though, is because everyone still has to work. I mean, that's what I'm saying is I think it would be different if there was a true shutdown. I mean, I'm, not, I'm talking about no one was working except, uh, like, doctors. My state is Police officers. Not this horse shit about, oh, oh, you guys make paint? Oh, yeah, you, you're good. And then the people that sell you the shit, oh, they're good. And the people that sell them the shit, oh, they're good. And those people, oh, they're good. And the guy across the street that sells them their donut in the morning, oh, he's, he's cool. Yeah, no, in my state, everybody oh, shut down. The guy, the, he's essential because he's a plumber. Yeah. There's a vet tech. They live together. And they are hanging out out back. And they're, I mean, right up next to the people who live right next door who yeah. work from home. So these people are sequestered just because they normally work from home, and their kids are all intermingling and tackling each other and playing. Yeah. And I just sit there and I marvel at it. These two people are out every day. The, the plumber, he told me he's worried because he's going in all these people's homes near the city, near D.C. every day. Wow. He's concerned. Kevin had his hand up. Kevin? It's interesting listening to all these different perspectives from around the country and um just yesterday my wife's working she's she's taken a few days off so she hasn't been home and i wish she'd go back to work but being <laughs> that <man. laughs> but uh she she's been off a couple of days and, and yesterday her uh you know they're they're a small office they they sell uh aircraft parts and they're an essential business because they sell aircraft parts for lear jets for air ambulances and they sell stuff to the DOD and, and mm -hmm. government airplanes and stuff. But they had uh, code enforcement and the police come in yesterday mm -hmm. and inspect the business. And it's just a small little hangar out at the airport. We're a small municipal airport. And they came out there and they inspected the business. They made sure that, you know, they, were, they had signs up, that they had hand sanitizer, that they had masks, that they had gloves for the employees. They did a full inspection on the place. And, of course, I had been through all this during H1N1 running a warehouse, and we had we had the same thing. And we were a big corporate company, <clears throat> kind of like what Josh is involved with. We had all that stuff prepared, and I kept telling her, I said, you're going to have to get this, and you're going to have to get this, and you're going to have to get a kit and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. And she kept saying, well, they don't do that. They don't do that. Well, sure and shit, they came in yesterday, and they said, you got to get signs, you got to get this, you got to get that, and we'll be back in a, four days, and we're going to make sure it's all there, or we're shutting you down. So it was pretty interesting, because you, you listen around the country here, and, you know, it's like business as usual, especially with Josh. You know, I'm still baffled why sherwin williams is still in business you know i guess paint is probably somewhere along the line that you're you're probably supplying paint to a government agency and that's what they're using because <clears throat> i know you guys use this you you guys used to supply paint to our company and uh but is then, paint, is, you know it, you hear about what's not being done in certain parts of the country and 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 then you see what's going on here locally in california and we've actually uh, nailed the curve at this point. I'm, you know, knock on wood for what we've done here in California because we jumped on it early. Our curve hasn't peaked and it's starting to flatten already. And but if ever, knock, if, you know, if suddenly your governor said, "Oh, everybody, you can start going out again and don't worry about social distancing," blah blah, blah it would come back again. 
course. You know, yeah. we'd come and, back with you know, a vengeance. I even went out today because I went to the, you know, I went to the hardware store to get some stuff, and uh, I was going to go over to the, uh, to the lumber lumber yard to get some lumber for my wife because she has some honeydews for me now that she's home, mm-hmm. and. I just said, uh, you know, I got halfway through it, and I went to the hardware store, and I got halfway through it, and I seen people running around, and I got to wait to get in the store because they're only letting so many people in the store at a time. And I said, fuck it. I just went home. And I said, I'll go to the hardware store well, tomorrow. Also, also, if I were you, I'd be very careful, only because you have health problems that compromise you. Well, exactly. You. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know. I, didn't, I just didn't feel like going out. I didn't want to, you know, go through the bullshit. And, you know, so I go to the store when it's early, and I can walk right in and get my shit and leave. Mm-hmm. And I had to wait in line. I said, you know what? Fuck it. I don't need this shit. Plus, yeah. I didn't have to do my honeydews. But yeah, you know, it, it, it's it's it seems a little different in different parts of the country, and uh, it, it's kind of different to look at it. And you see what's going on in New York. And I get, I get the fact that it's more dense. You know, I'm kind of in a we're, we're a town of thirty thousand, kind of out in the boonies. Our county is sixty thousand, so there's a lot of people spread out, but. You know, a lot of the people that I thought would be fighting this thing, I see cowboys with masks on. <laughs> it's pretty damn funny. You know, no, no. these guys these guys come out of the hills and they got their masks and their gloves on. Yeah. And I thought well, they'd be fighting this shit. Well, the time cowboys used to wear masks was when they were robbing a stagecoach, but now yeah, it's exactly. just... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, half of them are bandanas, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's, um, it's pretty funny. Let me uh, let me ask uh, Charlie. We haven't gone to you, Charlie. When do you think? Uh, how long do you think it's going to be before we can hug each other? You know. Well, we can. Now that's a different question. But before people go back to work and everything, will probably be, you know, late June, early July. Yeah. And I don't think we're going to be hugging anybody before Christmas. I I think it's going to be. Um, Personally, my opinion is it's going to be, it's going to be a while. It's not going to be as early as Phil and the president think. Uh, the president would like it for, you know, political and economic reasons, um, uh, and uh, Phil uh, feels that way because he agrees with him. Uh, I mean, how are we going to go back in May? Is he crazy? Well, have you I, been taking I, your I, orders from Joe Scarborough, Alex. What? Joe Scarborough. He's to be on floor. Some areas of the country. I didn't say all areas. You you have selective hearing, and you're really good at it. You know? I heard you say, Phil, <laughs> selective parts of the country. I don't think selective parts of the country will be able to do it, because I think if selective parts of the country don't keep up doing this, then they are going to, if they don't have very many cases now, they're going to start getting more cases. My county yeah. is starting. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Did you hear what Rob just said? My county, it started out two people, four people, eight people, up to 57 people now, quickly. Everybody is probably starting to test now. Everybody is going to get this. It's just a matter of time. Bullshit, everybody's going to get it. I'm not getting it. <laughs> vitamins every day now. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not getting it. Well, I'm never living in the house again. <laughs> I'm going to get food. Yeah. What's going to happen is it's, uh, it's going to come back. It's going to happen again. And it's like kind of like the measles. You know, when we were a kid, they used to put uh, chicken together with chicken pox and, and stuff to give yeah, them the virus so that they wouldn't get it later. Yeah. We learned Did better. Did you get the bird that. flu? Uh, no, I don't know what the Did bird flu Did you get swine flu? No. Did you get H one N one? I never got the measles. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't get those. You're not necessarily going to get Corona. Corona is no. If we get it's the crisis, be so then you won't. It's going to be so pervasive that uh, eventually there'll be more people infected. And no, you get herd immunity. Mm-hmm. That's what happens. You get an immunity to it. But yeah. they have to find they have to find a a, a vaccine, and they got to find you know the antibodies that have to that ha- the body has to build against it. Yeah. Well, they don't have don't a necessarily vaccine, get it. And, and it's running around now. So uh, there's going to be more people that get it. But if yeah. they get it, some people don't even show symptoms when they get it. That's what your that's what your doctor always that's says when terrible. you say, I think I've got coronavirus. He says, that's going around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I> mean, <laughs> it's you know, going funny around. I heard today. What? I heard that they were actually <laughs> looking <laughs> at Viagra as a therapy. Wouldn't that be funny? But you then can't you get know close to anybody. 
Imagine the doctor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm pondering a possible joke here. Hold on. Uh, well, you don't have to ponder it. He can give that. You just walk down the street. You say, "Oh, he's got a four-hour right there." Yeah. Uh, oh, you're, you're immune. Yeah, you've got. A, you, you're immune. You've got I a heart heard on. A doctor saying that. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, listen. The, uh, if you if you see a guy with a boner street. walking down the street, you're going to keep your social distance. That's how yeah. it's done. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing looking down Get at his hat? <laughs> don't have to. Yeah. It's going to be anarchy in the street. They don't even have medicine. You could say that they can take for it. Yeah. Well, I mean, look. I believe I I, I believe I mean, medical science will come up with a with a. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Inoculation or whatever. Because if they get whoever they but get but my question is, what are we going to do to make sure this scenario doesn't happen again? Because it happened this time, and I, I think it, it's possible something else could come along soon and do it all over okay. again. What do okay. we do, and how do we prepare for this happening so that we don't wind up bankrupting a nation, putting people out of work, having people die in massive amounts i mean what 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 are we going to have to do are we going to have to change the entire way we do business as countries and sacrifice and, our old people if you're over 75 you go to the slaughter you know you go to carousel yeah. you know. <laughs> go through the door and close you're it huh? and you're gone yeah you're gone <laughs> yeah yeah um uh you know i mean i just i just think that 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 just because the problem goes away, this problem goes away, doesn't mean that we aren't sitting around asking for it to happen again because we haven't done our homework and done what we got to do to to take care of this eventuality. Now, Obama had a had a commission that was looking into this very question about the way it would affect the, the economy, the way it would affect people getting it, how many people could die in a pandemic, and so on. And they were working on models for this sort of thing, and then on solutions of what we could do then to protect, to protect against this now. And when Trump went into office, the first thing he did was disband that group. Whatever, that was a big, see, if he really was serious, Trump, like you said, Alex, even Phil, listen to this. If he was serious, Alex Trump, he would gather the great minds, like you were saying, and say, listen, I don't know anything about this. You all get in the room, tell me how much money you need, and we'll fund it. He's got, he's got, what's his name, Ferrucci or whatever his name is. Uh, uh, Fauci. Fauci. Ferrucci. I knew a comedian named Ferrucci. Uh, 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 Fauci, uh, who, who is uh, one, of the big, one of the big, one of the big. Good Larry and Curly. That he, he's one of the major uh, uh, yeah, he, experts like, on vi uh, viral uh, problems. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, he's he's got people. He just doesn't listen to them. That's the problem. That's the problem. He listened to Fibonacci. That's who he listened to. Not Fib Fibonacci? Fibonacci? Yeah. yeah. Fib who's Fibonacci? Who's <laughs> well, 12th century mathematician that oh, invented what, the what? golden uh, spiral. Oh, really? Where did you get a piece of information like that, Phil? What, what Alex? I'm sorry. Where did you, where'd you get a piece of information like that? You know, uh, It's something every photographer knows. You know, because you got the golden spiral and then you got the rule of nines, the, you know, and so the golden spiral is what you see in nature, like a nautilus or or something like that. So if you look at most things that derive from nature, you see you're able to see the golden triangle, which ha uh, these it's tiles, 52 or 51. You know, tiles. I know what I used to call the golden triangle and it had nothing to do. with <laughs> your golden shower. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure Charlie knows what uh, Fibonacci was in the yeah. yeah. What so, about Liberace? Liberace. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think he's getting them confused. I think that you know, I I think that we you know we we really have to learn a it's lesson scary. here. We, we we can't let this, you know, if, if there's if we have to know what to do in pandemics, and we have to have things ready to go to solve it. You know. And not just say, oh, well, we're going to go to work on a vaccine today. Well, when will it be ready? About a year from now. Well, and you know. Yeah, and you don't even have enough equipment to get out. We don't have enough equipment. We don't have enough gowns. We don't have masks. They should have mailed every citizen of the United States a mask. Hey, look, we should have, yeah. we, if we had all the information on what you do in a case like this, 
the minute the thing happened in China, um, and it's we saw it starting to spread. We should have immediately said, "Everybody, you go inside and you don't come out yeah. till we tell you, yeah. you know, almost, Ali Ali almost, oxen free." You know, and almost every uh, left wing station they were playing all these clips from February when there was February. Like, Where's February? What's his name? Uh, Tony's library. But yeah. uh, library, yeah. you live in a great spending way. But uh, <laughs> all these clips, and you know, they're and and uh, Scarborough and all these guys, they were saying, Hey, yeah. there's no reason to be uh, you know, uh, over uh, overactive about this uh, coronavirus. We really got to worry about the flu. You know, I, I saw a clip after clip after clip. I, you know, these guys, where did short... you see these clips? Phil? Nancy Pelosi, where did you I, see the clips on Hannity? On Hannity, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. If, uh, and yeah. and did he show you any clips where maybe somebody on the left was saying, "Hey, this thing is happening in Hunan. We better keep our eyes out on it for it and do something about it before it gets us." No, oh, but did, no. But matter. why didn't Hannity? They, I'm sure there were clips. I said it on this program when Hunan first happened. Okay, uh, who's, the, who's, the, who's the kid that's uh, mother was the fashion icon that just died? Uh, Anderson Cooper. Uh, oh, he, Lori, wait a no, but I, I, you didn't hear what I'm saying, Phil. You're getting your your you're getting your your information from somebody who is selectively picking and and not showing you the ones that don't make his case. Okay. Of course, but you, you know, there's also all I'm saying is that yes, some people did not see this coming. They didn't well, think it was anything so to was take serious. I would love to know the context as to why he was showing that. Was it to was it to defend the fact that he was calling it a a liberal you know left wing way to bring the president down? Was that what the reason why he was playing those clips? Probably. But why don't you uh, why don't you listen to it? Uh, why did did he play the clip? He's, did he, he just, play the make, clip of Obama yeah. giving a, a speech saying that we're going to start this commission because if a pandemic, it's not a question of when. It, 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 it's it, we will have a pandemic eventually, and we have to be ready for it. And so I'm impaneling this commission to look into this and to to research it. Did he play how, that clip? How come? Wait a minute, did, Phil. Did he play that clip? Yes. The question. Yeah. How come Cuomo said there was no way to be prepared for this uh, this virus? There was no way. There was, no, there it was no way to be prepared for this virus because we weren't in defensive posture for it. Well, hey, all I'm that's saying is federal, yeah, a lot of these. Well, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Rob. What? That's what Obama's plan was designed to do was to help get ready. But of course, Trump yeah. says, "State, you know, you're on your own. Figure it out. We're just the federal I'm, government." The problem is, is you had all of these talking heads saying this initially, and now they forgot what they said, and they're using it for political reasons to try to go after Trump. And they've changed their tune. You know, even even when in... Uh, Phil, they're the not the president of, of the United States, and they're not responsible for the health and well-being of the country. Yeah, they're the ones that are trying to crash the economy. Oh, jeez. Crash the economy? Nobody's oh, trying to crash the economy. Mind. You're the one trying to kill the people. Yeah, we all want to crash the economy. Yeah, like I like, the, I love the fact, the I love the fact that, I, that I've got that I've Trump got, I've got thirty percent less money today than I did several months ago when this thing started. Yeah, I'm I'm a liber liberal and I want to crash the economy. Are you yeah, nuts? I would, I would love Are you crazy? Trump's, I would love to say nothing. <laughs> Trump's approval rating is at forty nine percent today. The yeah. highest that it's been. Well, that's why it's an approval rating and not an IQ. <laughs> oh, that was a <laughs> <laughs> We're afraid to leave our house. This is not a home. Yeah. What, 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 what do you what do you think? What do you think, Josh? Do you think the do you think the just have tests to see if you had the virus? Then we heard about China. We By the way, what happened? Wait, wait, what, what, what happened? What, what, what happened? It doesn't spread. What, what happened? What happened to Bree? Why are we looking at a street in Malaysia? They might have arrested him. Oh, oh, okay. I shamed him into showing himself. <laughs> it is really quiet out there. I will have to say that. You know. Now we're seeing his floor. Yeah. Now we see his thumb. It, it's quiet out there. Um, um, uh, so you it, think, it, Alex, we're not going to go back in New York probably till like July, August, maybe then? Oh, I I, 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 I think yeah, that's that's a good conservative estimate. Josh, uh, uh, thoughts on what we've been saying here? Do you think that's the the uh, the liberals want the, the market to crash? Uh, 
No, I wouldn't think so. I mean, the Secretary of the Treasury was the one a week ago who said he thinks unemployment would exceed 20 percent by the summer. I mean, that's coming from Trump's own, you know, yeah, executive branch. So, I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not going to get it, into too much of an argument about it. I mean, so what was uh, I mean, I, I don't know this tape with all these liberals from a few months ago saying this shit's not coming here and it's we don't need to worry about it. What was the point of playing all that? to defend Trump for saying the same exact shit or something? I, I mean, I, I don't see the logic. I, I'm, I'm tired of it, so I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but I agree, I agree with you, um, uh, Josh, that, that I don't see the logic in even playing those tapes because it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't make a point. You know, it, I mean, what, it, it makes a point that the, that, the, that the president is as stupid as these people were? You no, know. he wasn't stupid. He was the one that, on the 31st of January put in the travel ban mm -hmm. that nobody. Do you wanted. know? Do you know when Hunan when Hunan happened? Uh, December. No. Yeah, that started in December. No. And uh, no, we, we first heard had... about it in October. Uh, but oh, okay. No, so, I, I give him credit for wait. for doing that. Um, but it was Does only you know, one thing. That's I, all I, I don't did. understand but, why he thought that was the the key that it would. And that, by the way, by the, the way, it was yeah, it was it was it was it was flights coming from China. That doesn't mean that a person in China couldn't travel to Europe and then come in by the East Coast. In fact, my um, the people who my wife works with, uh, who uh, work out of uh, Hong Kong, okay, uh, were coming in during that entire period of time. So how was his ban working? And he didn't ban any Americans coming back who could have been infected. Right. Yeah. How, how can you do that? Well, you, 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 all, I, all I like to do, all I like to do when someone, all I like to do when someone wants to argue points like these is just say, okay, the uh, let me concede your entire argument. The Democrats, the liberals, whatever you want to label them as, are evil people. They want to crash the the U.S. economy. They want to just put it in ruins. Okay. I concede it. You're 100 percent right. Why? Now tell me why. To what end? Why? What's the motivation? What's the point? You tried everything else. They tried Mueller. They tried impeachment. They tried okay. everything they could do to get rid of Trump. And now they're trying. And now, to and we so we want to kill well, off Americans and and States. and take that's and good. take money out of our own pockets and take money out of our own pockets to get even with Trump. How many liberals huh? lost their job? Think, do you think that the yeah? How many liberals are out of jobs? Do you think that the politicians are losing any money? No, they were out there selling their stocks months ago. Well, what do you think Trump you has stocks that, like in? Martha Stewart did. Yeah, well, yeah, and, and and if and if one of those people, and if one of those people that did that were your congressman and he were on the ballot tomorrow and he was a Republican, I got a hundred dollar bill that says you'd vote for him. So again, <laughs> what's your point? I mean, what's your what's the end game? I mean, you're like these people who argue that the government's going to come take us and put us in train cars and send us to the camps again, and to which I say, okay, what's the point? Once they've wiped out 99.9% .9 of the population, what's next? Yeah, yeah. You, Are yeah. they just going to play with their own toys after that? Hey, who will cook their meals and clean their floors? Work left over it. I mean, you know, what, what's next? What's the end game? What's the point? I don't know what the end game is. The libs have not been able to destroy Trump, and he's going to be elected in 2020. And, uh, you know, you, you've failed. That's the end game for you Okay. Guys. So you're telling me that their logic to make that happen is to destroy, destroy people's you, lives. You're yes, assuming, to begin with, to blame Trump for it. Let me, it, 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 let, let, let me say, let me, me, he's so popular. Isn't the, <laughs> still getting, you don't make any sense. Isn't the He's so popular and everybody loves him that they'd suck his dick in a heartbeat, oh. but yet we're going to beat him by ruining people's lives. Are I mean, you what, sure what, that what, those books that you've been reading? Make no sense. Are you sure those books you've been reading didn't fall on your head because, you know, all you can do is yell? Well, Why don't you have a conversation? Maybe you me? should read some of them, Phil. The point <laughs> is, the point <laughs> is here. You're going to accuse me of not knowing how to have a conversation? I mean, yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, yeah. Right. Again, again, even if you were 100% correct and I conceded your argument, hello, pot, I'm the kettle, we're both black. Give me a fucking break. I mean, the guy that yells a lot is going to get mad at the guy who says he yells a lot? Come on, man. I mean, what? 
I, I don't. Mean, you should listen to the to the shows. If I don't yell, you know, I can't get a word in edge. Well, what do you mean you can't get a word in edgewise, <laughs> Phil? You monopolize the conversation. That's like and saying my mother can't cook. <laughs> you saying that you can't get a word in edgewise is absolutely absurd. I purposely, yeah, kind of funny. <laughs> I, I purposely didn't rig this uh, this unit up so that if somebody talked, my voice would be uh, silenced. I perp I could uh, plug in a unit tomorrow that would make this thing. Oh boy! Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, Kevin, look at Kevin. Look at Kevin. He's <laughs> he, he's he's like what what are you what are you doing, Kevin? What are you what what <laughs> what? what, 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 what what is it, are you chasing a moth? What's happening there, Kevin? You see this thing? What? It's gonna jump out the window. It's gonna jump. It Skype. What, 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 tell us what you were doing there, Kevin, and why. Get ready to jump out the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I plug this thing in, and uh, we don't and, care and about that thing. Skype to a different channel. When somebody, <clears throat> I wouldn't be silenced. Uh, but I didn't. I haven't done it, and the reason I haven't oh, done it. Oh, thank you so much, Phil, happen. for doing that for us. Jeez, Almighty! Thank you. Gosh, I, if I'd known you'd done that, I would have praised you to the sky. I'm sure you. Uh, yeah, uh, but I purposely didn't do it. You know, I mean, uh, the fact of the matter is, all I'm saying here is, I, We're in I, 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 this the, country. The, if the, people believe the, that other pe other Americans would destroy this country, well, over a no, man. Also, you, you know, I think the <coughs> the most important point that was made here. Excuse me, I have a little cough today because pollen. Uh, uh, that that Josh made the perfect point, and that is, so he Hannity decided to play these selective clips that he found. To what end? I mean, what does it prove? It doesn't prove anything. It only proves that Trump is, if, if, they, if you're trying to prove that those Democrats were stupid and didn't see it coming, then Trump is just as stupid as they are. Doesn't matter. Nobody saw it coming. It, well, I it, saw it coming, it, Phil. I talked about, about this in January. It, but, you know, of course, nobody listens to this show, so it didn't have any importance. Only but, one man is elected to the office, and he's the one that counts. And he's the one after 12 deaths in, in Seattle uh, put on the travel ban to China. And so why hasn't he invoked the uh, federal whatever that is, that law yeah. that, that can build, that can make companies get paid he instead did. of having to go to China and, and everywhere else to get masks and gowns and supplies and he ventilators? Did. He, he did. Had not. Yes, he did. Ever to do it. And he did it in he's done it in this little context. He didn't think he, he had, didn't to. Think he had to. Okay, well, he was wrong, all right? He was he's, wrong. He, he is he's not. He's, he's, got, he's got every governor, everybody spending your tax money and your tax money and your tax money in all your states because you're competing for masks against him and him and him <laughs> and your money. You're paying from, from, from a dollar or two that you pay for a mask, you're paying seven, eight, and nine dollars a mask because your president didn't make people in this country. Build, uh, create these things. I had to go to my bodega for this. Crap. No one knew. All the money should go nobody to the knew. Nobody what? knew. Then how come, uh, Phil? Help Phil? Phil? Us. Let me ask you one question. How come I knew? Uh, did I have some kind of insight that nobody else had? There were a lot yeah. of people who saw this coming and were warning about it. That yes. we should keep an eye out you for. It. You knew about the same time that Trump knew. And, yes, and uh, then what did he do after that? He didn't do a goddamn thing yeah, till a couple of, until a couple of weeks ago. He was saying it wasn't a problem. It was nothing more than the common cold. That, no, that's what your libs said. That's no, what no, Cooper Trump heard. said that. And, am I right? Am I wrong, folks? I got the the audio. F f wait a minute, Rob. What did you say? I have the audio I gave you, that audio that we played, that long cut of every Trump cut where he he even politicized it. At his one of his rallies, oh, at the rally, yeah, what did that do for you. It, it, oh, for a second, he said, We got this under control. Turn the situation around here with the question you okay. asked. Go ahead, about Anderson Cooper. What? what did that what did that clip of Trump saying those things do for you? What it did for me is prove that this man says things, and then he comes back a few weeks later and says, I never said that. Well, so what? What do you mean, so what? There are people, <laughs> Phil, Phil, there are, there are, right now in America, there are, there are, uh, there are 16,684 Americans who are dead, and I say to that, so what? And how so many what? Died swine? Take a look. 
How many died of swine flu? South Korea. It's not, it's not worldwide, not reaching the these time, numbers. Not else. reaching these numbers. <clears throat> South, it, South Korea, mm -hmm. yeah. somehow, it, it was the same time as the U.S. The same somehow day. they managed to keep it under control. Yeah, and the South US Korea, they, they shut all everybody else. We have a constitution, and you can't lock So people. does South, South Korea. is basically based on us. We, oh, like, nobody else has a constitution, like, right, Phil? Like nobody else. States. Nobody else has a democracy. Not like us. Oh, not like us. <laughs> yeah, if, if, you, if you talk out of line in some in, in many countries, uh, hey, you know that Denmark and um, uh, uh, and one other country near Denmark just uh, uh, released all their people to go back to work. So, you know, if if you if you look at uh, Denmark and I can't remember the other country, but uh, it's right near there. Uh, they're they're returning to work right now. Look at their numbers. They don't have the. We don't have four hundred. Denmark, 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 Denmark has only five thousand eight hundred and thirty cases. Only five thousand eight hundred and thirty cases and two hundred and thirty-seven deaths. How? What's the population? The population is far less than we are. Right. And it's per capita. Like Three million. You have to look at per capita. If you look at the numbers, they're all in line. Phil, and they're, no, they're not in, the in line. They're not in line. They're yeah. not in line. They're, I, 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 if you want, if you want to go to the safest place on earth, where where did I see it here? Hold on a second. Wait a minute. The safest place on earth is Greenland, Denmark. Zero deaths and eleven cases uh, reported and eleven confirmed. Oh, and eleven recovered by the way. So there are no cases right now in Greenland. So I thought we were safe here where I live. I really did, but it's growing. Yeah, yeah. I thought we were safe here. I was like, you know what? This is two hours from any airport. This is, you know, Mayberry, USA, pretty much. And now we're up to fifty cases here. Yeah. My friend Stoney went to uh, New York uh, to uh, Manhattan uh, a couple days ago. Uh, I think it was Sunday, and people were uh, riding their bikes and jogging, and he was taking pictures uh, and video. And he, it was like a normal day. Mm -hmm. a, no, it wasn't, some, Phil. I was here. Except, I looked out the window. It wasn't a normal day. Well, so you didn't go down to, uh, like Washington Square Park in that area. Well, I'm uh, uh, I, I, because I'm not going to take a subway to get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, gonna, he, uh, South Korea never had to shut down at all. Uh, uh, well, South Korea. Because you know they tested I, I, every what, fucking citizen. And they knew who was sick, and they quarantined them, so they didn't have to shut the government down. Well, isn't that a nice thing to do? But they didn't quarantine the the right Americans, you know, the ones that were at risk. Yeah, and uh, you, you have to look at it carefully. We don't even know yeah, who's sick. Kids in South. Listen, what about don't know they're sick? South listen, you know when you when you talk over him, Phil, you can't hear what Charlie's saying. Anyways, huh? we're saying Charlie. I'm saying. How are you going to know who to quarantine if you don't know who's sick? We've tested less than 1% of our population. We don't know who's sick. Who well, are you going to quarantine? Oh, That's but why we, you have to shut the government down because you don't know who's hands, sick. Wash your hands, wear a mask, social mm -hmm. distance. And also, and also close your store, Phil, because I can't see how a carpet laying service uh, is an essential service in the my, United States. My store is closed. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you're still doing business, aren't you, Phil? Yeah, I can write business, and within a couple of weeks, when the stuff gets delivered, we'll be installing them. Mm hmm Okay. Anyway, hey, that's it for tonight. Uh, oh boy, uh, it goes by fast when you're only doing an hour. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Rob. Did I appreciate your participation that? tonight. That was It was very welcomed, and uh, let me look at the picture here. So I can see so everybody else. Charlie Wallace, thank you. Uh, Josh, wonderful as usual and eloquent. Uh, Phil, thank you for your service to your Fuhrer. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, your papers. Thank you, Bree. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, uh, um, uh, 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 Tony. Uh, I don't know why I always block on Tony. Uh, and uh, thank you, uh, Patrick. Great to have you. And I hope you can get back to that park soon because I think you should be able to go there. And, and of course, the lovely and attractive Kevin, thank you as well. I think if you would all do it, I'd love to have you wave goodbye, and I'll wave right back at you. 
Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. There they go. That's our. Uh, that's our. Uh, that's our thing for tonight. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Our thing. Beginning to sound like our president, not being eloquent. Uh, anyway, uh, hey, uh, next is the intersection with uh, Jack Bishop, and uh, he will be holding forth with yet another, um, what do you call it? Oh, man, I'm just so out of it. <laughs> another, I'm, I'm goofy. Uh, another citizen panel. I'm Alex Bennett. I'll see you again tomorrow night at, at uh, 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.